Okay, welcome back. Uh, little Dr. Seuss here, since this is 8 West's kind of theme for the year. You have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own, and you know what you know, and you are what are the one who will decide where you go. Think about that for a little bit as you're kind of going through this year, because, again, it's all up to you to get as much out of school as you want to get out of it. Okay, Chapter 1 is the world of physical science. The purpose of the penguin on the front is because one of the things as we talk about the chapter in class, we'll be talking about the scientific method of a type of boat called the Proteus. And we'll kind of get into more of that as we go through. Section 1 is titled Exploring Physical Science. And in this thing here, uh, there's a lot of vocabulary. For example, the definition of the word science, which is the process of gathering knowledge about the natural world. And if you think about it, Science is all around us because the world, again, around you is full of things that can lead to you asking questions. It might be as simple as why when you put popcorn in the microwave does it pop? Why do, how do the brakes on your bicycle work? You know, those would be a couple things that, you know, you might want to, you, you might think about as you go through. Uh, the, in this class, we're going to study about physical science, and physical science is the study of matter and energy. Matter is the stuff that everything is made of. Your shoes, your pencil, the air, a roller coaster, etc. Energy is the ability to do work. And for example, when you eat something like the picture there of the girl eating a cupcake or a piece of cake, uh, is the food that she is eating, the energy that's in it is transferred to your body and stored or used by your body. Rainbows, as they say here, are made from energy. Again, in that reaction from light passing or light passing through a raindrop. A cheetah running uses energy would be another example here. There are two branches of physical science that we are going to study this year, chemistry and physics. Chemistry is the study of all forms of matter, and it studies three important aspects. One, how matter interacts with other matter. For example, the picture of the above, when the scientist squirted something into the flame, we got a big flame. Okay, it got bigger, so there was an interaction there what the structure and the property of matter are, how do they interact with one another, and how does one substance change to make a new substance. In other words, what we're going to cover later in the year, chemical reactions. So, for example, the scientist here may use a flame test to help identify the substance. So we'll click on this, watch a little video. There is no sound in the video. Okay, so I'll kind of go through it. So here we get a colored, we're gonna, it's a colored flask experiment. So right now, for example, there is a clear flask that the scientist is going to add some white powder to. And these would be, again, they're going to show how these two different substances interact with one another. He'll take it and he'll swirl it as he adds some more. I'm just going to kind of speed this up a little bit. So he's swirling it up, he's making the reaction occur, and what's happening basically right now is the liquid is dissolving. He adds a little bit more, shakes it up again. And he dumps the purple liquid into it. So one type of matter interacting with another type of matter. And as you can see, it goes through what we call a clock reaction. So as it goes through, it's constantly changing colors from purples to greens. Again, to speed it up a little bit faster, to lighter green towards the yellows. Swirls it up again just to make the reaction occur even quicker. Okay, so that would be an example of what, things that we might do in class this year. So again, we're show, it shows in that clip how one type of matter interacted with another type of matter. Okay, we saw the, the changes that happened there. We saw the liquid dissolve, or the powder dissolve. The structures and properties of matter. Again, one was a clear liquid, one was a white powder. When you mix them together, they dissolved. 
and it showed how it formed a new substance, how the purple and the clear liquid combined to turn to greens and to yellows. Okay, the second part of the year that we will cover is physics, and this is a study of energy and how energy affects matter. Okay, for example, some of the topics that we will cover, motion, heat, electricity, magnetism, and gravity. We'll answer questions like, why is the sky blue? What keeps the roller coaster on the track? Why do objects fall when dropped? So these are all different things that we will kind of cover in the second part. So physics, again, is a study of energy and how it affects matter. And chemistry, on the other hand, is just a study of matter. Make sure you know the difference between them. Okay, uh, there are other types of science that you've learned in the past. Sixth grade meteorology, geology, seventh grade biology. And these also relate matter and energy together. In other words, things that we are covering in class, physical science. For example, meteorology is a study of the Earth's atmosphere, the weather, the climate. Examples of this would be a weather forecaster or a tornado chaser. They would look at that relationship between the matter and energy. Geology, the study of the origin and the history and the structure of the Earth. Example, there's a geochemist. A geochemist is a, a scientist who would study the chemistry of rocks. And what he would do is try to find what the environment was like when those rocks were formed. And that's what this picture over here shows. The last one is a biology. And that, as you did last year, is a study of living things. Chemistry and physics can help explain many things in biology. For example, just one here. This chemical reaction that we're going to learn later in the year shows how animals get energy from food. So as an animal is eating his food, one of the, pro uh, the reactants here is the sugar that's found in the food, C6H1206, and it is going to combine with the oxygen, and in that reaction it's going to form carbon dioxide and water, and it's going to give off energy. So this is just a little bit here to show you how energy is used in biology. That's section one. We'll go on and our next video clip will show section two. But in section one, make sure you've taken some notes over this. Make sure you know the vocabulary of all the different words here.